my lovelies i hope you're all well so today we're in design space and i wanted to show you another use for contour so contour is really good for creating multiple layers from a single layer image it's also great for changing an image as well so we'll start with this one first. Sometimes we may come across an image and we say, I really like the text or the image, but I don't like the rest of it. Or I really like the idea of this circle, but I don't like the text. So first thing is we're going to get the text from here. So it's a sliced text image, but we can't actually use the text without cutting out the image and then disposing of the circle. If we go to contour, we can actually contour away that circle and then all the little cut elements by clicking on them. And we can of course click on them using the panel as well. If I close this down, that then leaves me with the text and I could take it further if I wanted to. So, so for example, I wanted the text but not the arrow, I could then contour away the arrow. And then if I wanted to, let's say I wanted it to be next to each other rather than on top of each other, if I duplicate that, I could then take away the tribe and then take away the bride and I could then put those next to each other and then I could get that arrow again and do something like that. So it does allow you to add and take away from images and completely change the way an image looks. Equally, I could go to my contour and contour out just the text and I could then add something different to that and slice it out. So for example, I could get something like this and in fact I want to make that a bit bigger and I'm just going to contour out that little circle. I can then draw around and slice, delete that, and delete that, and that would then give me something completely different. And if I wanted to go even further than that, for example, I could then duplicate this, let's do it four times, draw around, align, and center, and I could then change the color on that one to say, a yellow, open up my contour, hide all contours so I'm left with everything but the top one. I could then bring back some of my elements, get rid of that top layer and I've then created extra layers. And then we've got something like this. So we have gone from this image to then having all of these other options. The other great thing is that it can help to clean up an image as well. So we could bring something in and there could be loads of little cuts. Equally, we could decide that we love an image, but all these little cuts, we just don't want them or we don't need them. So again, what we can do is we can click on the layer, open up the contour, We've got two options. We could come in and individually remove each of these pieces or we could hide all contours so we're left with just the top contour and then just bring back the ones that we want. So in this case we want these hexagons, octagons, I don't know, I'm terrible with shapes but we don't want all of these little elements. So instead, I'm going to bring back these. And it's just reducing all of those cuts that either we don't want 
or we don't need. We can then close that down. You can see there we've removed all of those unnecessary cuts. I can then select that layer, open up my contour. Again, I can either individually remove them all and don't forget that I can use my panel here to help me or I can just hide all contours. It'll always leave that top layer and I can then bring back the pieces that I want, which is going to be a lot quicker bringing back the pieces I do want than removing the pieces I don't want. Close that down and there we go. We have completely either cleaned up that image or taken away loads of little cuts that we don't want. Again, with an image like this one, we could say, well, there's an outline, but I don't want an outline. I actually want the inside of it. So again, I can open up my contour, take away my outline, and that will then leave me with the solid inside. Equally, I may say I want the outline and then I want the inside different layer colors. So again, we can duplicate that, bring the duplicates over, highlight all of them, align and center. I could make the first one yellow, open up my contour, hide all contours, bring back the star and then remove that top layer. My next layer I could make, let's go with a kind of aquary color, open up my contour, hide all contours, bring back that one and then remove the outline, get my next layer and there we go. We've again changed the way that that original image looks. And I could do the same with this one as well. Like if I didn't want a solid, I could then make my duplicates, draw around them, align and center. And then again, I can change the color on each of my layers and then use my contour to then create my color layers all from that original first image. So those three variations have come from that original first image, all using the contour. Same with this one, we could do something similar. We've gone from this image to these three variations, all just using our contour. We can also use it on text. So this is alphabet soup font and I was trying to find a font that's got loads of um, pieces in it and I just you know when you're looking for one you just can't find it so I thought well this one this one will work so let's duplicate it we've got a couple of options with this one now with single layer images they are one layer and they are what we would call a welded layer with fonts even though they're one layer they're not welded they are attached so they're one layer but they're still individual pieces so what I'm going to do before I think about contouring it is come to combine and I am going to weld it and if you don't have the combine option it's because you're either not on desktop because it's only available on desktop and you need to be running on beta. So there's two ways you can run Design Space Desktop, live or beta. To get the combine option, you need to be on beta. I have done a previous video on this. So I'm gonna weld this. And as we know, welding is super gluing. And once you weld something and save it and come out of Design Space, you can't unweld it. Unfortunately, we can't use the Unite. If we were trying to use the contour on this and we unite it, it won't give us the contour option. It does have to be welded 
in order to be able to use the contour because it has to be one solid complete layer. So I'm going to open up the contour and I'm just going to take away these little accents and you wouldn't necessarily do it on this font but there are some fonts that have got loads and loads of tiny little cuts running through them and so the great thing with the contour is that you can actually take them away. The other thing is that we could make this solid if we wanted to. So we could go to contour and we could just click on the inside of our letters to make them solid. We could take that even further and actually take away those accents as well. And that creates quite a cool effect. The other option we've got is we can take away the shadow. So again, if we open up the contour, we can just take away that shadow effect. So we're left with something like that. And we could then bring back those little accents to create another version of the same word. And there we go. How cool is that? I mean, it's just amazing what you can do with the contour. And there we go. We can do so much using the contour. It's fantastic. So don't forget, in order to contour something, it has to be a solid layer. So it has to be what we would call a welded layer. Any areas that are connected will contour together. So an outline, for example, if you remove one part, you'll remove all of it. If you only wanted to remove some of it, you would have to create a breakaway. I hope this has been helpful. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!